Hi, boys and girls. How are you? This is your coach, Noel, and I'm so excited to be working with you today on this math lesson. Parents, I want to welcome you. Boys and girls, let's go ahead and get started with our lesson, okay? Because you have a lot to do, okay? But you're outstanding, so no big deal. So what we're working on today is multiplication, four-digit by one-digit numbers, okay? That's what we're working on, and I've got a couple of samples for you. And remember, please watch this lesson as often as you need to, okay? In fact, I recommend that you view this before you start working on your practice problems, which reminds me, you're going to have 20 pages worth of practice problems, okay? And I also want to remind you, please, please, please don't do all 20 pages in one day. I'm not asking you to do that. Do one or two pages a week. Remember, you're going to have a lot of different practice problems that you're going to have to be doing, so you're going to have plenty to do, I promise you. Okay? Your parents have a PDF file of this, so your parents can print this out for you. They can print out the practice problems for you, or you can have the practice problems on a screen, on a computer screen, and you can jot them down, and then you can start to work them out inside of a notebook. Okay? So let's get started. So here we have 6,024 times 3. So this is going to be the recipe. We're going to multiply by 3. So we're always going to be multiplying by this number. And we're going to start always on the right, and we're going to go towards the left. So we're going to do 3 times 4, then 3 times 2, then 3 times 0, then finally 3 times 8. But you're going to see that there's going to be times when we have to multiply and also add. So let's get started, okay? We're looking at the sample here on the left. 6,024 times 3. So let's get started. So first I'm going to do 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12, okay? We're going to put the 1 here. We're going to put the 2 on the bottom. 12, 1, 2, 12. Again, 3 times 4 is 12. The 1 goes up here. The 2 on the bottom, okay? Now let's take a look at the next step. Okay? So let's recap. 3 times 4 is 12. I put my 1 up here, my 2 down here. Now I'm going to do 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Don't forget about this 1 here. We're going to add plus 1. So here we have 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. We're going to put the 7 down here. Okay? So far so good. You're doing outstanding, boys and girls. Now let's take a look at the next step. But let's recap. 3 times 4 is 12. The 1 goes here. The 2 goes there. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7, goes down there. Now I'm going to do 3 times 0. 3 times 0 is 0. I'm going to put my 0 right there. Okay. Now let's take a look at the last step. All right. Let's recap. 3 times 4 is 12. The 1 goes there. The 2 down here. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 goes down here. 3 times 0 is 0. 0 goes down here. And finally, 3 times 6 is 18. The 18 goes here. And then I'm going to count from here. 1, 2, 3, comma. Put my comma there, and this number is 18,072. Again, 18,072. So 6,024 times 3 equals 18,072. Awesome, boys and girls. This stuff is going to be easy for you, I promise you. All we need to be great at is multiplying and adding, okay? That's it. So let's take a look at 2,837 times 8, okay? So again, we're going to be multiplying all these numbers above by 8, but first we have to start with the right side. 8 times 7, then 8 times 3, then 8 times 8, and finally 8 times 2. Okay, let's not mix up the strategy. If you don't mix it up, if you do it step by step like I'm showing you, you're going to just do great. Okay, so let's start here. First step. 8 times 7 is 56. 50, I put my 5 there. 6, I put my 6 there. Okay? 8 times 7 is 56. 56. Awesome. Next step. Ready? 8 times 7 is 56. 5, 6 goes there. 
Now I'm going to do 8 times 3. 8 times 3 is 24. Remember I had that 5 up there? I have to add it, so I've got my little plus 5. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 5 is 29. The 2 goes up there, the 9 goes down here. 29, okay? Now let's take a look at the next step, and let's recap, okay? Ready? 8 times 7 is 56, 5 goes there, 6 goes there. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 5 is 29. 2 goes there, 9 goes there. Now the next step is for me to multiply 8 times 8. 8 times 8 is 64, plus 2 is going to be 66. 6 goes there, 6 goes there, 66. Awesome. All right? And now I've got my last step. This stuff's going to be easy for you boys and girls. I just know it. So let's recap. 8 times 7 is 56. 5 goes at the top, 6 goes at the bottom. 8 times 3 is 24 plus 5 is 29. 2 goes at the top, 9 goes at the bottom. 8 times 8 is 64, plus 2 is 66. 6 goes at the top, 6 goes at the bottom. Now my last number I'm going to multiply is 2. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 6 more is 22. And I'm going to put my 22 there, and then I'm going to count from back here. 1, 2, 3, comma. Again. One, two, three, comma. So this number is going to be 22,696. Again, 22,696. So 2,837 times 8 equals 22,696. And that's it, boys and girls. Piece of cake. So what I want you to do, and let me remind you, Please view this lesson as often as you need to, okay? Anytime you want, go ahead and take a look at it. I want you to be successful. I want you to remember the strategy. I want you to remember the recipe. Boys and girls, and again, you have 20 pages worth of practice problems. Your parents have it on a PDF file. Again, you can print it, or you can just have the problems up there on the screen. You can jot the problems down, and then you can work them out in your notebook, okay? But let's practice. And remember, boys and girls, we have to be outstanding with our multiplication facts. you got to know your multiplication facts because this, if, if you do, it's going to make your life a lot easier. And do I want your life to be a lot easier when you're working out these multiplication uh, problems? Absolutely, boys and girls. Absolutely. So please, if you don't know all your multiplication facts quickly, you must, it's a must, it's not even a should, you must memorize your multiplication facts as quickly as possible, okay? It, it's a must, all right? Because as you get into the other problems, as you get older, as you start doing algebra, this is going to be so, so helpful for you, boys and girls. really want you to do well. Math is not that difficult, boys and girls. We just have to capture the basics. If we capture the basics, you're going to be just fine. Parents, I want to thank you, and boys and girls, we'll see you very, very soon at our next math lesson. In the meantime, everyone, please take care. Bye-bye.